you know, that was the right human reaction. People thought that Ron was still the same. And I'm like, Ron changed his attitude that whole, that whole time. You know, he was more calm and stuff. He wasn't on edge a lot like he was back then. Because mind you, I was there. I was training with him the whole goddamn summer because I still was playing college basketball myself. So to, to, for people to just have this misconception of my brother, that bothers me. You know what I mean? They say he's crazy and this, that, and other. Like, that really bothers me because that's not even true. You know, like, when people try to, you know, make fun of his name and stuff, like, I always had an issue with it. That's why I didn't like people like John Barry when he, you know, called them meta weird piece and stuff. I'm like, yo, first of all, not being disrespectful with this whole calling my brother crazy thing. You know what I mean? Like, the art, you know, crazy artist, this, that, and the other. You know, you disrespecting my mother, you disrespecting my father, everybody that has the last name artist. And we're not, we're a good family. You know what I'm saying? We came from... We come from Queens Ridge Projects or whatever. We grew up in the, you know, in the in the welfare system and stuff like that. And you know, Ron made something out of himself. And then like it's always like, I'm gonna be real with you, man. And and I don't like when when um you know when when there's white people on the on the on the social media or on TV and they and they characterize this man as you know they say crazy and stuff like that. Like who are you? to talk, to call somebody crazy because somebody doesn't conform to the stuff that you want, that you think is right. Even with the situation with Kyrie Irving right now, he's going through that. You know what I'm saying? And it really it really frustrates me that when something goes wrong, oh, he's mentally unstable. Maybe, maybe in your suburban life, that's what it is with your little, little Tommy and Johnny and them like that. But with us, it's different. Nobody's crazy, it's just how things are. You thought, I say it right now, you throw something in my face, I'm kicking your ass. Simple as that. And that's how everybody reaction should be. You don't throw nothing in nobody's face. It was beer that hit Ron or whatever. Somebody could have peed in a cup of urine or we could have been urine in a cup or something like that. But yet he got to maintain some type of, you know, you know, maturity issue or whatever because he's a millionaire. Come on, man. Yes. Come on, please. Please, what happened? What happened when Will Smith and the guy tried to kiss Will Smith on the mouth on that video that's on YouTube? He smacked the shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that's the proper reaction, you know? Like so, yeah, you know. I'm so, sorry so to- nobody never thought to blame the coach for keeping the starters in the whole game. It was you a blow. I mean? And I'm, I'm glad. See, I never talk about this. So this is all. This is all my opinion. This is all how I feel. I don't talk about this. Is my first time talking about this. Yeah. I feel like this. Sometimes I blame Larry Bird. Let me mm-hmm. tell you why. I blame Larry Bird because of this. He fired Isaiah Thomas. If Isaiah Thomas was still the coach of that team, that brawl would have never happened. Isaiah Thomas had that team, had that Pacers team, you know, it was locked. But no disrespect to Rich, Rick Carlisle, really good coach. But he didn't have the same type of, you know, feeling with that team. He was you a good coach too at the time. He's a great, yeah, he's a great coach. He's a great coach. But like newer as coaching, like he's yeah. still green. In that yeah. space, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and as Isaiah Thomas, you know, he know how to talk to certain players. You know, what I'm saying he know how to get he know how to get to the players because he was a he was a player himself. Ricala was a player himself too as well. But you know, what I mean, that race matters, man. You know, what I'm saying when you have a black coach that can relate to players like that because Ron wasn't really having no outbursts with Isaiah Thomas like that. You know, what I'm saying like um, Stephen Jackson wasn't. It was all good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a family, it was like a little family atmosphere thing like that. I always felt like if Isaiah Thomas was still on that team, not only the bro would have never happened, they would have won the championship. And that's that's just my honest opinion. When I say that, I don't speak for my brother. This is Daniel speaking for Daniel on that. Yeah. So whatever backlash I get from this podcast, <laughs> I'm I'm willing to take it. 